Hello friends, my name is AJ and welcome to part two of the in-depth review for AP Computer Science Unit 9, which is iteration. In this video, I'm going to be going over the practice test that was in the description of part one and is in the description of this one over here. I made a practice test for you and you'll be able to uh, practice if you want, pause the video and try it yourself. But in this video, I will be going over the answers. There are going to be nine multiple choice questions. That is it. There is no FRQ. Uh, simply because FRQs I don't think are that relevant towards this unit and also the fact that on the AP exam you will not get an FRQ that is related to inheritance and that hasn't been the case uh, from 2020, 2020 and earlier. So no matter when you're taking this test, unless something changes, uh, there won't be inheritance on the FRQ section. All right, without further ado, let's get started with number one. Okay, so it says which of the following are true about the concept of inheritance? So the first thing it says, by extending a, su a subclass from a superclass, an is a relationship is established. And again, this is saying that I'm, ex I'm taking a superclass, which I'll label with, um, I guess, a P for super. And then this is going to have a subclass below it. And they're saying that is that an is a relationship over here is established. Let me make this a little bit smaller. An is a relationship is established. And this is true. An is a relationship is established, right? Because the subclass is a type of, or the um, subclass object is a type of the superclass object. And then the next thing it says the super keyword is used to call the constructor of a subclass. So the key thing here that is incorrect about this is constructor of a subclass. In fact, it calls the constructor of the superclass. So therefore, two is incorrect. And then it says number or it says number three or you know I I I. The extends keyword is used to establish an inheritance relationship. So establish an inheritance relationship. That is definitely true. The extends keyword is used to establish an inheritance relationship. So given that two and three are correct, or sorry, one and three are correct, the correct answer will be C, one and three, right over here. All right, so then number two, it says classes that extend from a superclass draw upon blank from that superclass. So now we have uh, kind of different options, field only, methods only, fields and methods only, fields, methods, and constructors. Remember, everything is um, everything is inherited from a superclass except for constructors. So fields and methods are correct because constructor constructors are not um, drawn upon. Number three, uh, writing when writing a subclass, the only part um, that is required is the subclasses, and this will be constructor because, of course, constructors are not inherited. So technically, it's not required for you to add methods or fields. Of course, it probably you probably need to, but it's not required. You, the only thing that is required is that you actually, um, you know, required is the key word here. The only thing that's required for you to do is to have a constructor. All right, moving on to number four. Which of the following uh, code inside of the constructors? The Okay. Which of the following code inside of the constructor of a subclass calls the constructor of the superclass? So basically saying what code calls the constructor of the superclass? Let me make this a little bit neater. Calls the constructor of the superclass. What calls the constructor of the superclass? We have four options. We have super, init, constructor, and this. It is not this, it's definitely not this, it's not in it, it's a constructor. The correct answer is super. And again, this is at the near the end of the last video where I talked about how super calls the constructor of a super class within a subclass's constructor. Number five, in a sub in a subclass that extends a super class, how would a method be called? So how would you call a method um, inside of a subclass, kind of that belongs to a superclass. And really the correct answer here is just going to be C. There's no change. You just call the method open and close parentheses. You don't use super. Remember super, like here, this uh, super dot this dot method, you don't do that. Uh, you could do super dot method. That's technically an alternative way to do it, but you cannot do super dot this dot method. So that's not correct. 
Um, super open, open close parentheses dot method open close parentheses. That's not correct. And then extends is also not correct over here. And you may be wondering, well, why is super open close parentheses not correct? Well, if you do super open close parentheses, you're calling the constructor. So you cannot, you, you don't get a method out of a constructor like that. You, right, you do it out of the class. Now, number six, when a subclass has a different or has a method with the same signature. So they use this wording on the AP test. The signature refers to the header of the method, but is but different body. Then what is what is occurring? So the header, the name of the method, the parameters are the same, but there's a different body. Well, that is going to be called overriding. You when you you override a, a superclass method when you actually um, when you use the same header, but then you change the body. Now, one thing I do want to mention because there is overdone, overloaded, and super. Super is not correct. Overloaded is actually a real thing, and I didn't talk about it in the last video, but I do want to mention this. When you have the um, uh, when you override a method but change the parameters of the method, then it is overloading the method. So in this case, I have the same signature, which means the parameters are also the same, therefore it's overriding. But if your parameters are different, so let's say you add a parameter or you remove a parameter, then that will be referred to as overloading. Just thought that that would be important for you to know. Now going to number seven, this one's uh, pretty simple if you know the, the extends keyword. It says, which of the following class or given the following class header which is the super class so remember i'm saying that a extends b so really what i'm saying is that a is a subclass of b or b is a super class of a so in this case b would be the super class and then over here it says number eight an a a class is created by using the following header so it says um, public B extends Y, or public X, sorry, extends Y. So what am I referring to here? Again, I'm referring to the fact that, um, that X is the subclass and that Y is the superclass. That's really what this is saying. So it's saying which of the following cannot be executed given the following code. And then I have two lists. I have a a, y, a list of y and a list an array list of x and then over here i am i have created objects i've created an x object and a y object so really all this is saying is that given this relationship given that y is a super class of x and x is a subclass of y then what can i not do well can i add an x to y can I add an X object to a Y list? Well, the answer is I can, right? I can because X is a subclass of Y, right? Again, go to the uh, to the rectangle square, right? Rectangles or uh, squares are a type of rectangles, but rectangles aren't squares. So in this case, A is incorrect. And then it says add a Y object to a Y list. Of course you can. And then the same over here, X to X list. Of course you can. Now, the only last thing we're left with is adding a Y object to an X list. And remember, that is true because I cannot add a super class object to a list meant for the subclass over here. So the correct answer for A will be, or eight will be D. And then the last thing, and I didn't necessarily uh, go over that in the last video. So if you didn't get this one, that is okay. But it says, which of the following classes are the super class of all other classes? And the super class of all other classes, that is going to be the object. Object is the super class. And, uh, and the object class is found in java.lang or the Java language. So object, again, is the super class of all other types of objects. So the super class of a string is technically object. A super class for um, an integer, if you use the, um, the actual object in it rather than the primitive type, then that is also um, extends object. So all of, in this case, object is the super class of all other classes. And I'll probably include this in a comment in the unit one video or the uh, sorry the part one video so that I did include that in that video because I did not necessarily mention that in the 
like in the uh, in the lesson itself but i will add that in a comment a pin comment probably so that you can you can or you would have seen it um at some point before all right everyone that is it for the practice test and of course i didn't add again a frq because usually on your test you have four frqs you have one for um units one through four which is going to be your uh, methods and control structures type of question you'll usually have an array array list question and you'll usually have a, a two-dimensional array question and then usually a question on writing classes. So when that writing classes unit does not actually necessarily include inheritance in it. Sometimes it can, you know, it, it it's possible that it can. It usually doesn't though, usually doesn't include inheritance. Sometimes though, obviously it definitely could because writing classes, you know, adding inheritance is technically part of it. But I didn't, there's no need to kind of write an entire class when all you had to do was just add the extends keyword it didn't really um it didn't really make sense to include an frq in this particular video all right everyone that is it and again if you have any questions on any of these uh definitely let, let me know in the comment section below and i will try to answer them if you like the video feel free to like and subscribe for more content and as always thanks for watching unit 10 will be dropping shortly